All right, in this video, I'm gonna go over the 230 102-liter case. Now that is a streamlined case, super nice. If you're looking for that, you know, more smooth, refined look, that's the look they went for here, and I think they nailed it. We got four buckles under to connect it. Each one has little holes that you can ultimately lock it down. So, there you go. So you can put a thin lock through there. But the case is uh, LPDE plastic, as most cases are. But heavy duty, this is meant to last. We'll do a water test, so we'll blast some water on this and see how it holds up. But there you go. That's because I have some mounts to show you in a second. So to mount this, a couple different things you can do. Because when you buy the case, it comes as is. They have pre-drilled holes because I think they're planning at some point in the future to make a molly or a organized lid. So yes, competitors do make that, which do not fit the dimensions here. So this is, they've made it their fit. So we'll see when they come out with something to mount there. Otherwise, you'll just have to do a do-it-yourself for now um, on the side so they have holes that go down here this is so that you could put a strap across you see how there's grooves a groove here so you can have a strap come across it's going to interfere with that so they didn't think of that part but then go through and down and around but that means you will not be able to open your case until you undo that strap so as an alternative you could put it through here so you see there's another groove. So it would come across the top. Um, but you know what? That does not line up with this. So look, if I go in a straight line, let's follow this line right here. If we go straight across, it hits here. It misses that groove. So the idea was there, but that's not really going to work to put a strap across. However, you can put a strap here. Other companies have the same design where they have a handle that comes through here, through and then down with a buckle. Um, but 230 does not have that yet. But here you can put a strap through. So connect it here, go underneath the case, all the way over to this side, you know, with a cam strap, a long cam strap. This is uh, gonna be one of the solutions I'm gonna show you in a second to mount the case. But yeah, if you're using straps, you can go end to end, or you can go from this end underneath and go to that end. You can see it's not just a groove, it's so you can strap down. So that does not line up with this one on this side either, so the strap would just be coming on an angle underneath. So strapping it start here, underneath to the other side. So cam straps, uh, ratchet straps if you want. Um, but this solution I'm going to show you is what I think is the best way to do it. Apart from, you know, making your own metal. And if you're, if you can do fab, good for you, do it. <laughs> so, and here's the cool, um, just wanted to show you tool roll. So with this company, um, I got a link in my description below. You get 10% off their normal price, or if it's on sale, if they have like a Black Friday sale or Father's Day, Labor Day sale, you get 10% off on top of the sale. So definitely, um, that's one thing I can bring my viewers of value. And this tool roll, it's, it's cheaper than all the other guys. There's some super expensive ones out there. But this one, high quality. This is their bigger one. I think I've got another somewhere. I have a tan one. I'll find that here in a second. But anyhow, that, um, there it is. It's underneath. So this is their small one. So you can see I got room to spare that can fit in here no problem. And that's their large one. But roll up your tools so they don't clink and clatter like it would in the toolbox and throw it in your case. Maybe off to the side and voila. There you have all your tools, no matter what case you have or if you have it in your car. But I think it's the best value out there. That's why I contacted them, said I'd put you in my video and can you give my viewers a discount? So 10% off, it's something. But if you buy like three of these, it's like 79 bucks or something. So um, on special or one something, I don't know. It depends if you buy one, two or three, comes tan, comes black 
and comes in green, which I think I have in my other diesel truck I'm filled with tools. I'm not going to break that out, but anyhow. So I think the case is cool. Um, the question is, uh, you know, color wise, you can get it in any color you want as long as it's this gray slate. That's the only color they offer it. So I think it's a great color. It definitely goes with this rig for sure. Um, yeah, why do I have my boards out here? No, that's not a skunk. That's my dog. Um, to show you that this is the one case on the market that can fit your recovery boards. So these are action tracks. Um, I work with the company where I have a pallet full of boards because I'm like, I can't believe you guys aren't bigger than you are. Like, why is Max Track dominating the market out of Australia? US made, better material, DuPont, uh, which is like seven bucks a pound versus nylon six in the Max Tracks or the Tread Pros, which is like two bucks a pound. So if you think about it, a $300 set of boards from Max Tracks versus a 280 set of boards from Action Tracks. Action tracks, their margins are so much tighter because their materials are way better. And uh, what I do is I put yellow zinc. So it's kind of like a custom thing that I do on these boards. You can either get them like where they're just the normal um, studs, you know, the, the DuPont material, or I put the metal, which means you'll never burn those. Comes in black, OD green, tan. This has stainless steel, so I put stainless steel on them as well. Otherwise, it just comes silver zinc from the company. And I have them slightly discounted so um, because I get them with blemishes. And see that little line? That's a blemish. No big deal, right? So, yeah, great deals. I have these um, for $340, and if you don't have the metal, I have them for $250. Um, and that's with all price increases in inflation right now. Because, yeah, plastics products have gone up. So I got them for a pretty good deal. So just hit me in the DM if you're interested. But check it out. You could get, I've already tested it, but you can put a set of four of these with room to spare on top. So that's two of them with my tool bag underneath, of course. So it fits. Where other cases in the market, um, they will not fit these. I have a video on that. So check my links below where I actually do a comparison between this 230 and a Rome case. Both amazing cases, but if you're looking to store your uh, recovery boards, you're gonna want this one. And it's low profile. It's a super cool low profile. 102 liters, I think one of the competitors has an 83 liter low profile, which will not fit those boards. This is 102, so that's what, uh, over 20% bigger than the 83 almost 25 percent bigger somewhere in the middle of that all right that's the case what else can i say as long as you don't mind getting it in one color um this is the way to go some people do drill um the max tracks pins on the outside here um and can mount the boards on top you know if you're pressed for space I'll show you those pins in a second uh, when we get on top of the rig here. But yeah, that's the case. Cool logo. They make obviously tents and stuff. And same thing if you want, you know, if you're inter interested in this size case, which is I think their best one to put on top of a roof rack. It's the low profile one. So it won't be too crazy. Again, we'll see what it looks like on top of my rig. I'll put it, uh, a couple options, you know, flat on my Prinsu roof rack or mounted on the tent. Um, and an EO2 mount where it's a little elevated. So we'll check that to see what's the cleanest look and how to mount it. How are you going to get that down? Because 230 does not have any aftermarket parts right now to um, mount their cases. They're, they basically, you know, you as the consumer, you have to uh, go figure it out yourself. But it's not hard. There's a bunch of videos showing different ways to mount um, if you're not wanting to just do a strap. All right. Well, there we go. Let's get up on top of the rig. Well, actually first, let's do a water test. Let's see how well this holds up. Because if you notice, what I think is pretty ingenious of their design, there's a lip here. So you see it's elevated, you know, taller than my finger. Well, let's see my pinky finger. So it's about that height, right? But why? And it's thin, because it's gonna fit right in this groove. So if you look along the side here, that groove, 
is recessed, okay? So that ends up, if we can get this on camera, it will seal right in there. And when it's locked down, you got a perfect seal that this goes up into the rubber gasket that fits all the way around, all the way around through the bottom. So this does really um, make all your gear inside waterproof, but let's actually put it in those words into action. And I'm going to take my power sprayer out and I will soak this, you know, imitating 80 mile, 80 mile an hour headwind in the rain. And you know, will the rain get through the side? So let's check that out. All right, this ain't moving. I'm getting right close. Okay, moment of truth on the 23-0. Wow. I think, you know, there's a couple drips here, and that's solely because when we opened up the case, some of the water, you know, on the edges came out. But look, this seal does well. What I notice on the 23-0 compared to the Rome, see how that's recessed? And this sticks out. So instead of a, the rubber sitting on top of a flat, this goes up into the channel where the rubber is. So you got like, kind of like that barrier here. You got the rubber that sits right down on this, like so. So I'm wondering if that design is a little more of a watertight seal on the 23-0. And look, our Scott towel, clean as can be. Wow. All right, just to give a visual on the case up on Otis, my Land Cruiser, this is if it's sitting on that EO2 mount I was talking about. So the plate would connect, snap together, and you can see it's sitting a little high. So I think I'd prefer it to sit flush, and I'm sure not very many people are gonna be buying that EO2 mount at 300 to 350 bucks, almost as much as the case itself. So what I'm gonna do is show you mounted right beside there. I think it'll be a cleaner look because, I mean, from behind, here's what it's gonna look like. And that's a low pro profile case. So it's gonna look like that, or let's look at it when it is sitting lower. All right. I got my two dogs running around. <laughs> my two little helpers. <laughs> All right. That's Jasper and Ollie, my Shetland sheep dogs. They're looking for a cameo. You guys looking for a cameo? Yeah? That's Ollie. She comes on some off-road adventures. And she comes to cars and coffee and stuff, and that's Jasper. I got them trained early going in the car, walking around crowds and moving cars at Cars and Coffee and they do well. They're about a one and a half years old. Good sized dogs. Not too big, but also not purse puppies. These guys, they need their exercise. They run around and go crazy as you can see. Okay, let me move this case over to I think my preferred spot. One shot from the front. So again, since it's a low profile case, that's sitting a little high. Let's get it lower. All right, that's what it looks like lower. What I like about it there, it's sitting flush on the print suit. I'll show you how I'm gonna mount it. Obviously you can use bungee cords, cam straps. I'm gonna do something better. So it's sitting nice and low. You know, even from the side profile, you can see there's a case, but it's not like jumping out at you. And let's look at this side. Because I put my, my action tracks there on the side. So it kind of covers the case too. You don't really see the case so much. It kind of acts as a visual barrier. So there's the case up there. But the action tracks are blocking it. And my action tracks, I'm using, these do use the, uh, the extreme pins that you get from Max Tracks, so it still fits the same keyholes. And I use, if you can see in behind there, actually, let's get the other side. I'm using the Axis, so right there, 
that's the Axis Alloys. I'm using their two inch tube mount, which is clamped around my print suit and just one zip tie to hold this steady, but that doesn't move and I can put four boards up there. But to me, that's a clean look with the case. That's where we're putting her. So let me show you how I'm mounting that. Okay, we're up top now. And there's my EO2 mount, which I use the Prinsu um, tent mounts underneath, which is putting it up an inch. I could drill holes in this, secure it to the Prinsu roof rack. But again, that's anybody who wants to invest big bucks into the EO2, they can do that. So instead with this, I am going to, instead of drilling it, cause you'd have to drill, you know, the uh, snap plate that goes underneath this, you would have to drill holes in the base of your case. So to keep it with none of that going on, look at that, this, this right here is the 83 liter for the Rome. So I have it lined up there. What I plan to do is at your lo local hardware, get an L bracket, that is gonna go underneath and then basically, basically go right there. So that will hold it down. That's my makeshift. So whenever I wanna take this off, yes, I'm gonna to have to go drill each side, um, unscrew it, not drill, but unscrew it, I should say. But at least that'll hold it, it'll keep it low profile and voila. But for access, I might wanna flip it around so that I can access it from this side but again i have the beauty of an 80 series and a tailgate so i can just stand up here and get all my stuff although i would have to unlatch those on that side so probably long term i'm going to remove this switch sides if i ever want to put another case on this and move this over here so i get access from my my sliders okay that's what we're gonna do. That's the mount, that's the style. I'm sure I don't have to show you how that works. Carriage bolts, unscrew this, lift it up, get a carriage bolt underneath, um, turn it. Actually, so I'll leave one on because there's two bolts. I'll turn one so I can actually you know, rotate this, get this ready on the bottom and then rotate down and uh, have it lined up right there. And hopefully Sherpa, that's who makes these. Sherpa, these are like about 30 bucks. Uh, hopefully for their T-bar, they'll take note. I already talked to the company and said, man, to fit the 23-0, you just need to take your Rome uh, T-bar and lower it about two inches, and then you're good as gold. They do have a 95 liter, but it's too long. It comes all the way down to uh, almost touching my uh, rooftop of the vehicle. So there we go. That's where I'm going to mount it. All right, in summary, I think it's an awesome case. Definitely has a great look. It's very low profile, as you could see on top of the rig. So I think uh, all in all, just a cool box. And you know, these should last for life, especially for the type of money you'll spend on them. And uh, take care of them, you know, maybe coat it. I, uh, I use Cerakote, so uh, I'll note the name of that company. It's like a, you know, uh, basically in a pouch, put on gloves and you wipe it down. It'll make it a little bit darker looking and it will protect it. It's almost like a ceramic type coating for plastics, but easy to use, easy wipe on, wipe off. Um, I've used it in the past. I have a short video, or I think in my comparison video with the 23-0, I put it on the back of my wife's LX570 two years ago and you still see the huge difference because I only did half of the, it's like the kick plate uh, on the back of the truck. Um, so something to, to check out uh, if, and it'll be in my links below if you are interested in putting some sort of protective um, product on your case, especially if it's sitting on top of your truck in like Arizona sun, California, Texas, Florida, you name it. That sun beating down on it, it does eat away at plastic at some point. All right, uh, all other details are in the links below. Thanks for watching, good luck, um, you know, enjoy your case. Hopefully this helped you in your uh, shopping decision. But I love this case, I think it's awesome, and the color definitely worked for me. All right, happy trails.
Thanks for tuning in.